on my last video. These buttons are for editing. I'll discuss their functions in detail on a separate video. This is the part where I'll be discussing their functions. So if you're interested, then keep on watching. Clip Filter and Audio Effects It allows you to apply filters on your video clips. These filters are stock presets in iMovie, so you cannot change or tweak them. You can also apply audio effects on your music or video recording. To use this function, you have to select the clip or the audio that you want to apply the effect on. In video editing, this function will be your best friend. Make use of this wisely to add a unique effect on your video. A video on slow motion will add a more dramatic effect. I have been taken by the words that you say. The voice that carries While videos on fast motion will allow you to shorten a clip without cutting it. Like a time lapse. A right mixture of fast and slow motion can give you a cinematic effect. Volume, Noise Reduction, and Equalizer They are related to each other since they all adjust the audio or music of your video. Like your video clips, you can do a fade in or fade out on your audios as well. If you don't know what this is for, then this is the time you get to know how useful this function is. Its effect on your video can be major, but quick disclaimer, it doesn't really work in all videos. It's self-explanatory. It allows you to crop your videos like how you crop your photos. But its function is limited unlike Premiere Pro or Final Cut Pro. If you only need to correct the brightness, contrast, highlights, and shadows of your clips, then this could do the job. You can also tweak the saturation, warmth, or coolness of your videos, but don't expect much. If you want more freedom in manipulating your videos in terms of color correcting and color grading, then you will need another software for that. Video Overlay Settings if you're wondering what a video overlay looks like, here's a short clip for you. When using this function in iMovie, you're allowed to overlay up to two videos at a time. If you want
want to add more layers to your project, you are going to have to do it manually by editing two layers at a time and stitching them in another project. Premiere Pro and Final Cut Pro will let you add more than two video layers, but I'll talk about this some other time. So that's about it. I hope you got some useful information from this video. If you want to know more about iMovie or video editing in general, don't forget to like this video, leave a comment, subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell, and I'll see you on my next video.